John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Alumacraft Boats. There's one. All right. Oh, no. I'll tell you part way in if he's a big one or... I don't think this one's big. Nope, little guy. Little guy. Little guy. You want to drive? Sure. Oh, I got one going. Okay. Look at that. You got to like that. Might ain't big, but it's nice to get a double to start, huh? <laughs> Better fish, ain't it? Eh, not a little bit. I'll get mine dealt with. Let me know if you got a good one, and I'll grab the net. Let me unhook mine, I'll give you this pliers, and then we'll start back over. That's what's cool, though, is these fish, they're in these shallow bays at this time of the year, coming off the spawn, and they're thick, and when you get into them, you can catch a lot of fish. You know what, there's always a few keepers around if you're, if you're looking for some fish for the dinner table too. Those fish right there, they'd be perfect for dinner, wouldn't they? Perfect for pickling too. Yup, yup, exactly. Okay. That thing's mad is, is that a big fish? Yeah, it's a better fish. Okay, tell you what. Let me stick the bolt right here. Okay. Yeah, just keep that rod bent hard on them. It's the only way them suckers will get off. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice yeah. Pike. Look at yeah. this giant pike, bud. Oh, oh, baby. Giant pike. Look at this. This is what we're here for. Oh, <laughs> wait till you see what you just got. Wait till you see this fish. This is a giant. This is a giant pike. This is a trophy pike, bud. I know. This is one of those pike that you put on the wall. You put a replica on the wall. This is a giant fish. It's the biggest pike I've ever caught. Oh, right yeah, this is a giant. All right, I'm gonna hoist this fish in the boat. And I'm just gonna get him unhooked for you. That's fine. And then I want you to hoist this fish up, show everybody, and then we're gonna get her back in the water. This is a giant. This is a dandy. giant. Wait till you see this fish. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> that is a giant. That's a trophy pike, bud. That's well over 40. While we get this fish unhooked, Let's take a look at this week's logbook. It's late April and we are fishing a back bay on the south end of Lake of the Woods. We are fishing in four to six feet of water with water temps hovering in the mid to high 30s. Bomber 15A shallow diving crankbaits trolled at 2.5 miles per hour are triggering strikes. Steve has a hold of his trophy pike. Let's get back in the boat and take a look. What? That's what it's all about right That's there. That's an awesome fish. <laughs> this is Lake of the Woods and this is what you can do at this time of the year. That is a trophy pike, man. And get her back That's in the water. 40 plus. Yeah, let me get out of your way. Why don't you go ahead and bring her right over yeah, here, Steve? Yeah, you got go your ahead and line her right here. Oh, that is an awesome fish, bud. Yeah, just take your time with her. She'll probably need a few seconds. She's gone. Oh, did she take off that quick? Right there, there she goes. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Congratulations, dandy. buddy. Dandy. Now I gotta slime on my hands, too. <laughs> Here's the thing, we're up in Lake of the Woods, and this is one of the few places you can go in the country where you get the opportunity to go to a destination where pike is open year round. So what's happened is these fish, they've been up spawning, and they're, they're up in the ditches. They go up into super shallow water. Pike are a little different. They come in under the ice, they'll go up, they'll spawn in super shallow water, and then they work their way back through these bays, and right around that corner is the main lake. So what happens is these fish are all done spawning. They're all wrapped up and they're coming back down through here. And what we're doing is we're picking off fish that are on the move back down. So you get a bunch of little ones. You get, you get those little fish that are the males that were up there spawning, but then you get those big females. I mean, that's 40 plus inch fish. That fish probably still weighed 20 pounds. Oh yeah. But a week ago, it probably weighed 25, 26 pounds when it still had eggs in it going up. It's a short little window we're fishing too. You know, and when I say this, what I mean is these fish, they go up and as soon as the ice comes off these bays, it just takes a couple days for it to warm up. And when it warms up, here they all come and they're on the move. And you get a window of about a week where the big ones are still here. And I said to Steve, I said, we got to get up there because this is the window. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by these fine sponsors.
Yeah. Is that a good fish? It feels better. Okay. Just tell me what you need me to do, bud. Well, let's just get them in, man. Is that a good one? Feels better than them other ones. Okay. He's not that big, I guess. Well, let's see what we got. That's a nice one, though. Yeah. That's a good one. Look at that. I'll take that one. Nice, no, not bad. That's a good fish. <laughs> All right, I'll take her. You got it? Yep. That's a good fish right no, there, bud. That one. I mean, that's, you're going to get some of those fish along the way. I mean, that's just the way it is. You're going to you're going to get some fish that you know they're giants, and then you're going to get fish like that one too. They're Pop still this. fun. They're still fun. <laughs> that's right. Let me pop that anchor up and we'll get turned around and drive through there again. So where can you go do a bite like this? There's a lot of different places actually. I mean, you feel like it's just border waters, but it's not. Over in the Dakotas, there's opportunity in a lot of places to go fish early season pike where you can get these big pike and they'll be in bays over there, especially on the reservoirs over there. Man, the Missouri River system has some giant pike in it. And then you have your border water situations like what we have here, anything along the border with Canada. And then there's also opportunities in rivers that, that border different states where you have that same opportunity. So really, if you do some looking around, read some regulations, you'll find out that there's places you can go do this. You don't have to come to Lake of the Woods. I'm just telling you, this is one of the best places you can come to do it right here. While we look for the next bite, let's take a look at another great DeLumacraft boat model. Beyond versatile, the Pro 185 allows you to go anywhere you want in a fast and proficient ride. The Pro 185 has exceptional storage space under the front deck for rods, tackle, and other equipment. A large 20-gallon live well with a timer and recirculation pump keeps your day's catch alive, while the recessed trolling motor foot pedal keeps you comfortable throughout a full day on the water. The Pro 185 is 18 feet 5 inches long with a massive 90-inch wide bow, meaning you have plenty of room to cast in any direction from bow to stern. Rated for up to 115 horsepower, the Pro N85 gets you to and from your favorite spots in a hurry, while the 20 gallon fuel cell ensures you can make the long runs to that hidden hot spot. The center hard keel combines with the one piece hull to create a lightweight and yet extremely durable boat that will stand the test of many seasons. To learn more about the Pro 185 or to take yours home, visit your local Alumacraft dealer. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This feels like a pretty good one. I'm gonna take it right out of gear, Steve. I'm gonna take this in. Okay. Yeah, this feels like a pretty big fish. I think. Let me see, I gotta try to catch up. Uh, I don't know now. Just coming at me? Yeah, he's just coming at us. I don't think he's a giant, but he's pretty big. There he is. Oh, he's a pretty big fish. Yeah. Let me uh, put the talon oh, down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't even wanna mess with that. Why don't you grab that? Well, the drift sock's okay. Here we go. Just coming straight at me. Not a giant, but he's pretty big. He's a nice one. He, oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's a good fish. Heck oh, yeah. Boy. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh okay yeah. With that drift sock? <laughs> Look at that. Good fish. Nice fish. He ain't a giant, nice but he's, fish. he's an awful nice pike. Here we go. <clears throat> Look at that. Cool. He ain't what Steve got <laughs> earlier today, but he's a lot he's of a fun. <laughs> Hoist him right in here. That's a great fish. Let me tip that down. We'll get him unhooked. We'll show him to you here. Awesome. You know, I, I did something a little different. We kind of made a turn. I came up here into some water we haven't spent as much time in. And, and uh, son of a gun. I mean, not a not a giant, but by no means small. No, that's a uh, nice. Might even nice. be better than that. Yeah, mid-30s. Awesome fish. Fun to catch, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they are fun to catch. Hey, if you get the opportunity to do something like this, or and everybody's got the opportunity. I mean, this is this is public drive to water. This is awesome. Get out and do this. It's a great destination. Think about coming up to Lake of the Woods or one of these areas out in the Dakotas where you could do this right behind the spawn. Because pike like this one and that giant Steve caught earlier today, they're just waiting. Let's get this big girl back in the water. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> That's a release, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's awesome. John Thielen's Destination Fish has been brought to you by these great sponsors.